What is going on guys? So today we're checking out the Woe Pet 3 liter automatic pet feeder. So this is a, again, a three liter container. Uh, I, the one that I actually have in this box is the black version. Uh, it does come in white as well, uh, which is pretty cool as you can see here. Um, it's got manual scheduling, which is great. So this is going to be able to feed your pet automatically on a specific schedule, a specific amount uh, on a few different times a day, which is very convenient. Easy to clean, <clears throat> anti-food design, stuck design, meaning that this thing is going to keep from getting jammed up. Uh, and it's got dual power supply, which means that it can be plugged into the wall, and then in the event of a power failure, uh, you actually have three uh, D batteries in here that are going to actually back up uh, that power uh, and continue to give you uh, feeding. So even if your power goes out while you're out of town, your pet uh, is still going to get fed, which is awesome. So let me pull it out of the box. I'll put it together and show you guys what it looks like. So here it is. Uh, this is what it looks like when it's fully assembled. Okay. Uh, essentially what you have is you get your control screen right here, which will turn on and I'll show you some video of what that looks like. Um, you've got the actual food bowl right down here, which can be removed. You just lift it up. You lift this up a little bit and you kind of separate this from the bottom. I'll show you like this slides out, um, allowing it to easily be washed. It just, it has to, it, it, it stays on there pretty strong so that your, your pet can't knock it over and get it out. But basically it just slides off like that and you can rinse it out and wash it off and it just slides back into place. So very convenient there. Um, in the top, you can unlock the sides here if you needed to clean this out, but here is the actual feeding mechanism. So this is where basically the food will come down from the hopper and this little hopper will distribute the amount of food that they need, which is really cool. This locks back in on top. You can unlock the top and inside here is where you actually store the food. You fill this up with food, you put the lid back on like this and you lock it in place and that is it. Uh, let me turn it on and show you what the screens look like so you can get this thing programmed. Now, when you first turn it on, you're gonna be immediately go into the time setting section. So you're gonna go ahead and press the settings button and it's gonna walk you through setting the time. So it currently, in my time, it is 1.43 p.m. So we're gonna go to settings here. We're gonna go to 1.43. 3 p.m. We're going to then move on to the next part. And now we are on number one. You can see the number one flashing right down here. This is asking you, when do you want the first feeding to be? We're going to hit settings there and we're going to change. We're going to do how many, how many portions do you want them to have? Okay. So you're going to choose the portions. The instruction manual will walk you through how many portions that is. I'm going to say three, and then it's going to ask, what time do I want this at? So we will then go to six o'clock like that. Now number two, you adjust the portion, you do the time, portion, time, all the way through the different options. So we've got three, you can eventually choose how many you want. And as the time goes by, once you've got that set, the portions are going to come out at the specific intervals throughout the day, which is super, super convenient. Now, one other setting that's really cool with this one is that it actually has this little microphone right here. If you push and hold this down for three seconds, you'll hear a beep. Now you can record a message. So I could say, here, kitty, 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 kitty. And then let go. Now, every time it goes to feed, it will call your pet over or give them a special message every time there's a feeding. So if you have a specific sound or thing that you say to call your animal to eat, you can have that pre-recorded in here as well, which is a very, very cool feature. One additional feature that I wanted to show you guys is the manual feeding mode option. Now this button right here up in the top, if you push this, it's gonna ask you how many portions you want to feed out. This you can say, okay, we're gonna give them a quick snack, right? We wanna keep them happy for a little bit. We're gonna go ahead and give them two portions and then we're going to go ahead and just leave it at that. The beeping or the flashing will stop here in just a second. It's gonna play my recorded message and then we can actually see the feeder, how it will dish out the food. And then the feeder begins to pour out the amount of food that I requested for this particular feeding session. So really, really cool. So it gives you a lot of freedom, even in between sometimes, you know, your pets get needs a little bit extra or a little bit more or a little treat here and there. You can still do that without messing up all of your additional settings. So if you guys are looking for just a great way to take care of your pet, whether you're home or not, um, when you're on vacation or you're around, you know, whatever, just this is a great way to be able to schedule and make sure that your, fit, your pet gets fed on their normal schedule, regardless of whether you're home or not. Um, so if you're looking for something like this, definitely consider checking Checking out this automatic pet feeder from Woe Pet. But guys, as usual, I hope this video was helpful for you, and I'll see you in the next one.